Success is getting what you want. Happiness is wanting what you get. The successful man will profit from his mistakes and try again in a different way. You never achieve success unless you like what you are doing. Take a chance. All life is a chance. The man who goes farthest is generally the one who is willing to do and dare. Do the hard jobs first. The easy jobs will take care of themselves. The only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Feeling sorry for yourself and your present condition is not only a waste of energy but the worst habit you could possibly have. Happiness doesn't depend on outward conditions. It depends on inner conditions. Remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. The royal road to a person's heart is to talk about the things he or she treasures most. Remember, happiness doesn't depend on who you are or what you have. It depends solely upon what you think. Flaming enthusiasm, backed up by horse sense and persistence is the quality that most frequently makes for success. I have come to the conclusion that there is only one way under high heaven to get the best of an argument, and that is to avoid it. Avoid it as you would avoid rattlesnakes and earthquakes. Fear is the result of a lack of confidence. A lack of confidence is the result of not knowing what you can do. A lack of knowing what you can do is caused by a lack of experience. A lack of experience is caused by a lack of doing something new. Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. The best possible way to prepare for tomorrow is to concentrate with all your intelligence, all your enthusiasm, on doing today's work superbly today. That is the only possible way you can prepare for the future. Keep busy. It's the cheapest kind of medicine there is. Your purpose is to make your audience see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt. Relevant detail, couched in concrete, colorful language, is the best way to recreate the incident as it happened and to picture it for the audience. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Act enthusiastic and you will be enthusiastic. The chronic kicker, even the most violent critic, will frequently soften and be subdued in the presence of a patient, sympathetic listener, a listener who will be silent while the irate fault finder dilates like a king cobra and spews the poison out of his system. To be interesting, be interested. Be sympathetic with the other person's ideas and desires. Fear not those who argue but those who dodge. Criticism is dangerous because it wounds a person's precious pride hurt his sense of importance and arouses resentment. You can measure the size of a person by what makes him or her angry. You can conquer almost any fear if you will only make up your mind to do so. Remember, fear doesn't exist anywhere except in the mind. Try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view. Our thoughts make us what we are. Each nation feels superior to other nations. That breeds patriotism and wars. Big shots are only little shots who kept on shooting. Criticism is like a carrier pigeon. It always returns where it started from, 